Hello guys, welcome to Idiot's Diary. This is a C programming tutorial series. Let's start with the introduction of C. At first, we will discuss about the timeline of C. C is a general purpose programming language initially developed by Dennis Ritchie between 1969 to 1973 at AT&T Bell Labs. In 1978, Carlingen and Dennis Ritchie published the first reference of C called the C programming language and this version of C is known as Kerda C. In 1989, American National Standard Institute published the standard for C generally called ANSI-C or C89. In the next year, International Organization for Standardization also approved this version and this version of C is called C90 or ISO-C. ISO revised, ISO revised the standard of C in 1999 called C99 and the latest version of C is published in 2011 called C11. Next we will discuss about some reasons why we use C. C is a small, fast and simple. Actually if you want to learn the English then you have to learn thousands of words but if you want to learn the C language then you have to only learn the 32 words. C offers a better interaction with hardware. So most of the device drivers and robotic softwares are built with C. Most of the part of popular operating system such as Windows, Unix, Linux are built with C. And most of the popular programming languages such as C++, Java, C Sharp, PHP, Objective C and many more, many more follows the C syntax. So if you already learn the C language then you will feel comfortable while you are learning these languages. Next, we will discuss about some type of languages in computers. There are two types of languages in computer. First is machine oriented language or low level language and second is problem oriented language or high level language. Machine oriented language is further classified into two categories. First is binary language and second is assembly language. First, we will discuss about the binary language. Binary languages are those in which the instructions are created by combining zeros and ones. Actually, the computer is created with billions of transistors and each transistor can be think as a switch which can be on and off. Programmatically, to on the switch we have to pass the instruction 1 and to off the switch we have to pass the instruction 0. But the problem with the machine language is that it is very difficult to read and write and its codes vary from computer to computer. Next type of language is called the assembly language. It is a one level above than the binary language. It uses short mnemonic code to write the instructions and it allows the programmer to introduce the name of the memory blocks which hold the data. For example, if you want to write uh, to add two entities such as pay and total, you have to write add pay total in a state of complicated sequence of binary digits. Next type of language is high level language. Its syntax matches from English and it is machine independent. So it does not vary from computer to computer. Next we will discuss about what is the C programming. C is a general purpose programming generally used for the system programming. C combines the assembly language as well as the high level language. So it is called a middle level programming language. Next we will discuss about what is a program. Suppose you want to watch a movie then you have to first book the tickets, go to the theater on time and then watch the movie. So I told you some lines which is called as statements in program and program is the collection of statements which performs a specific task if followed in a specific order. Next start the most interesting part of C which will tell you the steps of learning C. As you learn the English you have to first learn the alphabets then words then sentences and then paragraph. As similar in C you have to first learn the character set then keywords concepts and variables then statements and then program. So let's begin with the character set. Character set is the allowed sequence of characters in C. It includes alphabets, capital A to Z and small a to Z, digits 0 to 9, white spaces includes spaces, tabs, new lines, etc. and special symbol like comma, full stop, semicolon, etc. 
Next, we will discuss about the keywords. As in English, there are some words like under, over, between have the fixed meaning. Similarly, in C, there are some words which meaning is already fixed. These words are known as the keywords or reserve words. There are 32 keywords as in ANSI C specification which is listed below. Read carefully and then we will go further. Next we will discuss about the constant and variable. Look at expression given on the screen. In this expression, if we give the value of x is 1, then y becomes 6. If we give the value of x 2, then y will be 7. And if we give the value of x is 3, then y becomes 8. So here we see that x and y in this expression will be changed. So these are called a variable and 5 remains unchanged. So it is called a constant. So constant is an entity which does not change in a problem or in a program. Next we will discuss about the types of constant in C. There are two types of constant in C. First is the scalar constant or primitive constant and second is the composite constant. Then scalar constants are those which does not divide it further. For example, if you have a number then you cannot divide it further. So the number is generally called a scalar constant. Second type of constant is called composite constant. Composite constants are those which can be divided further into multiple scalar constant. For example, if you have a collection of 10 numbers, then you can divide this collection into individual numbers. So this collection is called composite constant. A scalar constant can be further divided into various types. First type of scalar constant is called integer constant. The number without fractional part is called the integer constant. For example, 25, 0, 44, 446 is valid scalar constants. Next, we will discuss about rules of integer constants. First, no decimal places are allowed. For example, 25 is correct, but 25.0 is incorrect integer constant. Positive and negative both type of values are allowed. Spaces and special symbols are not allowed. For example, if you want to write 12,500, then these two examples are incorrect, but this is correct. Value range for the integer constant is minus 2 to the power 31, 2, 2 to the power 31, minus 1. And three formats are allowed in C to write the integer constant. First is the decimal, for example, 25. First is next is the octal. Octal constant must be prefixed with a 0 and next is hexadecimal. Hexadecimal constant must be prefixed with 0x. By default, all the integer constants are treated as a decimal constant. Next type of scalar constant is floating point constants. For example, 34.55 and minus 0.0007 is called the valid floating point constants. Rules for the floating point constants are Decimal places are allowed in the floating point constants. Positive and negative both type of values are allowed. Spaces and special symbols are not allowed as discussed earlier. Two types of formats are allowed for the floating point constant. First is called a fixed format. 0 0.0007 is a fixed format number. Next is the exponent format. 0.7e-4 is called the exponent format floating point constant. Where 0 0.7 is the mantissa and minus 4 is the exponent part. Valid range for the floating point constant is 1.2 e minus 38 to 3.4 e plus 38. Next type of scalar constants are character constants. All the characters available on the keyboard can be a character constant. For example, a at the rate 7 star and many more. Rules for the character constants are character constant must be a single character and must be enclosed in a single quotes. Each character constant is encoded by ASCII. Next, we will discuss about the ASCII. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Actually, everything in the computer's memory is saved in the combination of zeros and ones. We can convert the numbers into the zeros and ones called bit patterns, but we cannot convert the characters into bit patterns. So, to convert the characters into the bit patterns, each character have a number associated with it. That number is known as an ASCII. The character with their ASCII is given below. 
the 26 characters are capital into capital z which ascii range from 65 to 90 the next 26 character are small a to small z which ascii range from 97 to 122 the next 10 characters are 0 to 9 which ascii range from 48 to 57 next 34 characters are some non printable characters which ascii range from 0 to 33 that next 128 characters are some graphical characters which ascii range is 128 to 255 and the next 32 characters are some special symbols in this way there are 256 total characters in ascii which ascii range from 0 to 255 the next type of scalar constants are string constants strings are generally called the sequence of characters for example your name your email id your card number your phone number are some string constants rules for the string constant is that a string constant must be enclosed in the double quotes next we will discuss about the variable as you see in algebra the expression y is equals to x plus 5 in this expression if you put the value of x is 1 then y becomes 6 if you put the value of x is 2 then y becomes 7 and if you put the value of x is 3 then y becomes 8 in this expression x and y are changing so x and y is called the variable so variable is an entity which can change during the program or a problem if in a program we are creating a variable then c reserves a memory space in the memory and give the name x the memory map for the x is given in the figure suppose you have a variable x which have the value 5 then during the program you are changing the value of x with time the value is changed in the same memory location so we can say that the variable is the name of the memory where the data is stored or the next definition for the variable is variable is a cup of tea in which you can change the content every day next we will discuss about how to create a variable in c to create a variable age which is a type of integer you have to write the statement int age to create a variable price of type float you have to write the statement float price and to create a variable gender of type care you have to write the statement care gender something you have to be noted about the variable that the variable name should be meaningful because it is easy to identify while your program is becoming thousands of lines next the type of the variable can be judged by your common sense and here in the example int float care are the keywords each keyword has its own role and here the role of the int float care is to tell the data type so int float care are called the data types next is rules for creating the variable variable name can contain alphabets digits and underscore variable name must begins with an alphabet or underscore Spaces or special symbols are not allowed in the variable name. Keywords are not allowed as a variable name. C is a case-sensitive language, so it differentiates between the uppercase and lowercase letters. Next, we will discuss about the types of variable. We are discussing about some primitive or scalar data types. Primitive or scalar data types are those which cannot be divided further, as we have discussed earlier. For example, integer, float, character are called the some primitive data types. composite data types are those which can be divided further and the combination of various primitive data type for example if you are creating a student data type which is the combination of various things such as roll number which is a type of integer name which is a type of string and marks one marks two marks three which is a type of integer and percentage which is a type of float so a student is called a composite data type first type of scalar data type is integer type to create a variable integer we have to use the keyword int which receive the memory 4 bytes and range is minus 2 to the power 31 to 2 to the power 31 minus 1 if you need more range then you have to create the variable with the long which receive the memory 8 bytes and range is minus 2 to the power 63 to 2 to the power 63 minus 1 one thing to you have to be noted about the data type is that a range of different different data type is vary from compiler to compiler possibly the size of the different flavor of the integers may vary as given above in the on different compilers <coughs> but this is to be ensured that the short is always less than or equal to to integer and int is always less than or equal to be in long here the short int and 
long are three flavors of the integers next scalar data type is called the real data type the first real data type is float which receive the memory four bytes and range is 1.2 e to the power minus 38 to 3.4 e to the power plus 38 and the precision is six digits precision is the maximum digits allowed after the decimal point if you need more range and more precision then you have to create the double double receive the memory 8 byte and range is 2.3 e to the power minus 308 to 1.7 e to the power 308 and precision is for the double is 15 digits next uh, real data type is long double which receive the memory 10 byte and the range is 3.4 e minus 49322 to 1.1 e plus 4932 and the precision for the long double is 19 digits next scalar data type is called character data type to create a variable char you have to use the keyword char which receive the memory 1 byte and ranges from minus 128 to 127 thank you for watching us and get ready for tomorrow